What's going on everyone? So Patrick Rose here today and today I'm going to be doing a video just based on macro photography. So as you can see right here I've actually got quite a few different systems for uh, just various setups for macro photography for today including I've got my mobile phone here so with a add-on macro lens which you could get for like five dollars maybe twenty dollars depending on quality um, a standard just a standard lens um, with this one here being the 12 to 40 2.8 pro lens from Olympus but you can also get some designated macro lenses an extension tube for about which I bought for like five dollars and with it is the Pentax 50 millimeter f2 and then this funky one right here which is a what's called a, a bellows so this will help uh, with the flange distance uh, increasing macro capability and much like with the extension tube here I've got a 50 millimeter f2 lens on this one And this here is a 52 millimeter uh, reverse reverse um, filter, no, reverse filter, reverse lens um, adapter. So what this does is, if I were to remove this lens here, this has a 52 millimeter filter thread, and I could just attach it on, make sure it doesn't cross thread. And this makes your standard 50 millimeter lens into a macro lens and all you do is with the bayonet mount just simply attach it on to your camera and that too becomes a that too becomes a macro lens so now just showing you these just showing you with these different images well not just different images uh, just showing you the different setups here I'm going to show some take some samples of each setup um, of each camera well not each camera but each lens with this camera so starting off I'm going to start off with the smartphone attachment my subjects for this shoot include a shark's tooth a ring Boba Fett and a watch. I am more than certain 90% of people have a phone in their belongings and most of which has a camera. As well as that, many smartphones have been manufactured to apply manual con controls when taking photos. Even though some phones like mine does not support raw files, I can still use a macro mode and use manual settings. Most of these add-on lenses for phones are pretty straightforward to attach onto your camera. Just snap it on and you're good to go. When shooting with an interchangeable lens camera, you can use lenses with macro features. This 20 to 40 millimeter from Olympus has a fantastic macro capability when zoomed between 25 to 40 millimeters. There's also the option to purchase designated macro lenses, but it's important to spend more money on higher quality lenses if you want the best results. The next setup I'll be using is the reverse lens mount. 
There are plenty of thread sizes and mounts to fit any lens. In this case, I am using the Pentax K mount version. Simply screw in the thread onto your compatible lens, unmount the lens from the camera, and mount it with the adapter. If you want to focus with this setup, you'll have to physically move the camera to be in focus. It's also recommended to drop your aperture to f4 or lower for better results. Next is the extension tubes. Most lenses are designed to fit a specific flange distance with the camera's sensor. A DSLR sensor is much further behind the camera due to the mirror inside the camera than a rangefinder or a mirrorless camera. Much like the reverse lens mount, the focus is all about moving the camera to get the best results. Lastly, we have the bellows. Sure, it looks vintage, and a little silly on a modern camera, but it's one of the more unique tools for macro photographers. Once the camera and lens are attached to the bellows, you have to adjust the lever below to get the right focus. You can operate it handheld like the reverse mount and the extension tubes, but it, but it works better when it is set on a tripod. You would want to make sure your tripod is in position close enough to your subject and then adjust the focusing through the lever of the bellows. <clears throat> so those are the main systems um, that I currently have and there are plenty of other options out there so you can get some if you have like a compact camera or point and shoot camera, some point and shoot cameras have um, macro capabilities. Um, for myself, I used to have the Olympus Stylish TG4, which had great macro capability. And plenty of cameras, like there are plenty of cameras out there with um, designated macro capability, as well as that you can get plenty of lenses with um, the ability to just utilize macro as well. So if you're wanting something small, simple, then point and shoot, or if you want to be a bit more professional in macro photography and stuff, you can simply save up for some really high quality glass and um, yeah, get some good images out of that. Um, but yeah, even don't underestimate um, the ability of a smartphone as well, as smartphones are slowly uh, improving over the generations and even having the ability to compete with the likes of the consumer point and shoots. In fact, consumer point and shoots were taken over by smartphones. Yeah, um, all right, thank you very much for checking out this video. Feel free to check out my website at www.patrickrose.co.nz and I will see you guys in the next video.